We're asked to find the area of the semicircle and the triangle, and we're told the measurements are in inches. Let's go ahead and label this length 16 inches and this length 20 inches. Now if we focus on the semicircle, notice how this is half of a circle, and because the area of a circle is equal to pi r squared, the area of the semicircle is equal to one half pi r squared, or pi r squared divided by two. And then the area of the triangle is equal to one half base times height, which means the total area is equal to the area of the semicircle, which again is one half pi r squared, plus the area of the triangle, which is one half base times height. Now let's go back over to the figure and make sure we have all the information that we need. Notice how we're given the diameter of the semicircle is 16 inches. We need the radius, which is half the diameter. The radius is the distance from the center of the circle here, or semicircle, to the semicircle, which should be this length here. So the radius is equal to eight inches. The 16 inches, which is the diameter of the semicircle, is also the base of the triangle. Let's label this B. And then 20 inches is the height of the triangle. Let's label this H. This is all the information we need to find the total area. The total area is equal to 1 half times pi times the radius squared, which should be the square of eight inches, plus 1 half times the base of 16 inches, times the height of 20 inches. Simplifying, eight squared is equal to 64, one half times 64 is equal to 32, and therefore the area of the semicircle is 32 pi square inches, and then we have plus one half times 16 is eight, eight times 20 is equal to 160, the area of the triangle is equal to 160 square inches, so this is the exact area, and again the units would be square inches, so we put this in parentheses and include the units of square inches. But we are told to use pi in our calculation around to the nearest hundredth. So now we'll go to the calculator and get a decimal approximation for this area. We enter 32, and then pi is second, then the exponent key, plus 160. Enter, we're asked to round to the hundredths place value, which is two decimal places. Notice how there's a zero in the thousandths place value, which means you round down, and therefore the total area is approximately 260.53 square inches. The units are already given, we enter 260.53. I hope you found this helpful.